Hey everyone, so today's story time we're going to be reading Starfish and it's by Edith Thatcher Hurd and illustrated by Robin Brickman. Hopefully I'm pronouncing those names right. So let's get started. Starfish live in the sea. Starfish live deep down in the sea. Starfish live in pools by the sea. Some starfish are purple, some starfish are pink. And then this is the purple one, and then this is the pink one. This is the sunflower starfish. It is the biggest of all. Starfish have many arms. The arms are called rays. Starfish have arms, but no legs. Imagine having like only our arms and no legs. That would be, be kind of difficult to do things. But starfish don't need those. Starfish have feet but no toes. They glide and slide on tiny tube feet. They move as slowly as a snail. So we know that snails are slow, so starfish are clearly slow. The basket star looks like a starfish, but it is a little different. It does have tube feet. It moves with, with its rays. It has rays that go up and rays that go down. Tiny brittle stars are like the basket star. They hide under rocks in pools by the sea. The mud star hides in the mud. It is a starfish. It has tiny tube feet. So this is the basket star. And then this is the one that's hiding in the mud. I never knew how many different starfishes there were. I kind of just thought they looked like Patrick a little bit. <laughs> A starfish has no eyes, a starfish has no ears or nose. Its tiny mouth is on its underside. When a starfish is hungry, it slides and it glides on its tiny tube feet. It hunts for mussels and oysters and clams. It feels for the mussels, it feels for the oysters, it feels for the clams, it feels for something to eat. Sounds delicious. The starfish crawls over a clam. It rays go over its rays go over it. Its rays go under it. it. Its rays go all over the clam. The starfish pulls and pulls. It pulls the shells open. It eats the clam inside. So that's pretty cool. How it does that. It's pretty neat. Sometimes a starfish loses a ray. A crab may pull it off. A rock may fall on it, but this does not hurt. It does not bother the starfish. The starfish must just grows another ray. In the spring when the sun shines warm and the sea grows warm, starfish lay eggs. Starfish lay eggs in the water. They lay many, many, many tiny eggs. The eggs look like sand in the sea. The tiny eggs float in the water. They float up and down. They move with the waves and the tide up and down up and down. Those are the little, little stir fishes, little baby stir fishes. How cute. The tiny eggs change and grow. They float in the water. They move with the waves back and forth, back and forth. Then they sink into the bottom and they grow into tiny starfish. The tiny starfish grow scratchy and hard. They grow little rays. They grow tiny tube feet to crawl on. Baby starfish eat and eat and eat. First they eat tiny things that float in the sea. Then they eat mussels and oysters and clams. They eat and they eat. They grow and they grow. Sounds like us. A lot of us like to eat and eat and eat. I know I do. There are many different starfish. Some are fat, some are thin, some are prickly, some are prickly and pink. Some are prickly and gray. Some are just tangled. Look on the rocks by the sea. Look in the pools by the sea. Look for starfish and stars of the sea. The end. So 
In the back of this, it says find out more about starfish and make your own starfish. So what I suggest you all to do, which I hope you enjoy the story, grab construction paper or regular paper from your home, uh, get crayons, markers, or paint if you want to, and create your own starfish. You can do starfish decorations and hang them on your door or different sea creatures. Just something to do for fun. All right, have a great day. Bye.